Good evening. <clears throat> As I was going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven While the roots of this famous puzzle are said to go back to ancient Egypt, the more modern version, which the actor is reciting, is really a trick question. Excuse me, but I'm acting here? Hey, don't worry, you're not bothering us. Anyway, the narrator is going to St. Ives, but meet someone, apparently a polygamist, along the way, who has all the sacks and cats and wives. However, only the narrator is going to St. Ives, so the answer is one. You gave away the answer. That's it. I'm calling my agent. Oops. Oh well. Anyway, that poem does make rather liberal use of the number seven. But what is it about that number that so captivates people? It seems to pop up everywhere. For instance, there are seven digits and a phone number in a specific area code. In the English language, it's the smallest number that requires two syllables. On a digital clock, there are seven segment displays. September, which in our calendar is the tenth month, was actually the Roman seventh month. The periodic table of elements consists of seven horizontal rows, and nitrogen is the element with an atomic number of seven. Seven babies born during one pregnancy to one mother are known as septuplets. <sighs> Goths had seven deities, as did the Romans, whose names are the source of our names of the days of the week. There were seven dwarves, seven deadly sins. There are seven orders of architecture. Classically, there were seven seas. The seven sisters are a star formation known as the Pleiades. The Big Dipper is made up of seven stars circling a pole star. There are seven days of creation, including a rest day. For Christians, that means that seven is the number of completion. It becomes a holy number in that respect. However, there are some parts of the world that see seven as an unlucky number. There are seven colors of the rainbow. Seven planets are visible to the naked eye. The neutral pH, the pH level of pure water, is seven. Seven occurs in countless ancient Greek traditions and legends. The seven gates of Thebes, Niobe's seven sons and seven daughters, the seven strings of the lyre, the seven spheres, etc. There are seven emblems of the Buddha and seven primary chakras in the subtle energy system. The seventh son of a seventh son is supposed to be born gifted, or a werewolf or a vampire, depending on who you listen to. Apparently Donny Osmond was such a son, so make your own conclusions. Seven candles can be found on a Kwanzaa Kanara and a Jewish menorah. In some parts of China, a special ceremony is held on the 49th day after a death, that is, seven times seven days. It signifies the final parting. There are seven gods of luck in Japanese folklore. Rome was said to be founded on seven hills. Here's a partial list of other cities in the world that make the same claim. In probability, seven is the most likely number to turn up when you roll two dice, which may be another reason that it's seen as lucky. Of course, if a number is chosen at random, seven will always be as likely an outcome as any other number, provided that the dice are fair. When you start chopping whole numbers into sevens, strange patterns emerge. number, 142,857, is especially bizarre. Look what happens when you start multiplying it by the following whole numbers. continues when you go up by larger and larger numbers. My agent says that my contract entitles me to finish my performance. Whatever, dude. Please, go right ahead. 
Good evening. <clears throat> As I was going Whoa, to... look at the time. Seven o'clock. Gotta go. Hey, now you're gonna sit there while I finish this. Sit down. All right, all right. Relax, dude. Hey, no use in both of us having to sit through this. See you next time. As I was going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Each one had seven wives.